I just liked our energy. I liked uh, the ball movement. Um, and uh, after that first quarter, I thought our defense was was connected and uh, it's just a good good all around effort. Um, and you know, Portland's been playing well. They, they came out hot and they had won four in a row against some good teams. So uh, it's a really good win for us. Uh, can you say that the uh, Just um, you know, not uh, not too many uh, breakdowns of our shell. You know, they they uh, when they penetrated, our the help was there. Uh, when they kicked it out, the rotations were generally there. Um, you know, they only got six offensive boards for the game, so we. Did a pretty good job boxing out and finishing uh, possessions, and and then after that first quarter, um, we took care of transition. They were coming downhill at us early, and uh, and then after that, um, didn't feel like we we allowed them to get going in in uh, in the open court. Talk a lot about Steph's facilitating, especially the first was tonight the best. He was Steph was brilliant tonight. Uh, you know, they were trapping him and he was getting the ball out uh, and finding open cutters and, and um, you know, creating four on threes for us all, all night. And uh, I loved his patience and and the way he uh, kind of ran the team tonight. Uh, he played a beautiful game. Jonathan uh, attempted 10 free throws in the first How important is it to have a guy with that kind of yeah, I mean, JK is, uh, <clears throat> he's getting better uh, every single day. And, and uh, you know, one of the reasons Bob drafted him is um, because of that athleticism and that power. It's something we haven't really had a lot of on our roster. You know, we've, we've obviously had great talent and great skill, but to have that kind of um, power and explosiveness, um, it's it's added a, a different dimension to our team, and uh, the thing that's exciting to to me and to the staff is just how much J.K. is picking up now uh, as we enter into the, the stretch run. I mean, the difference now compared to the beginning of the season is uh, it's just night and day. So he's uh, he's he's he loves to play, he loves to work, and he's absorbing all these lessons and uh, and. I'm getting better, so it's, it's uh, he's been fun to watch. Follow up on that, like I think the other days, you know, he said if playoffs happened today, he would be a part of the rotation. When he was drafted to this team and what he knew that soft game, did you think that he was making that assertion that he would be part of the playoffs? Uh, I mean, I didn't even give it much thought, uh, to be honest, but um what you could see right away in summer league was just how explosive he was. Um, but in, in training camp, you know, he got injured quickly and got off to a slow start to the season. And we had a veteran group um, that we stuck with. And uh, I just think the process has been really good, uh, very organic. Um, he had to learn the, the, the lessons uh, that the older players were teaching him. And that the staff was trying to teach him and uh, he had to kind of pass some tests before we we trusted him enough to put him out there and it's uh, that's kind of how it should be i think um for young players and we're lucky enough to be able to do that with the roster that we have what did Porter give you like late first quarter when the game was shifting it seemed to be yeah, we, we, we went small, you know, when we took Loon out, uh, we went small with JK and Otto and, and uh, Otto's just so smart. You know, he's the guy who's going to flash to the middle of the zone. He, I, I think he found uh, Gary for a dunk. It might have been Gary. No, it was JK, I think, um, when he flashed to the middle and, and found uh, JK on the baseline. Um, Otto's... I didn't know you could overthrow GB2. Defensively, he's a great communicator, always in the right place. Um, he's uh, he's such a smart player, and he's also really really skilled as a scorer and passer. So he's uh, he's been a great addition to our team. No Bielitsa in the rotation tonight. More matchup based, or just kind of the way you're. So the way the game went, yeah, I didn't anticipate. Uh, 
you know, the rotation being what it was tonight, but when they got off to that fast start and transition, the game felt uh, really fast, and I felt like we needed to uh, to downsize and, and get our speed and, and athleticism on the floor. That's why I went the way I did. I think we have a question on Zoom. Melissa Rowland, go ahead with the question, please. Hey, Steve, uh, this doesn't necessarily have to do with tonight's game, but um, what impresses you the most about Juan Toscano Anderson? And he doesn't define himself as an, uh, an athletic dunker. How much guts did it take for him to participate in the dunk contest anyway? Yeah, I mean, I think Juan, uh, he has uh, risen through a, a path that most players uh would would have no concept of you know to play in the places he played and to end up in the NBA um he's just an incredible story so when you factor that in um if the NBA asks you to be in the dunk contest you just say yes you know it's um he, he, you uh he, he knows that that uh, his his presence in this league uh, is nothing to take for granted, and he's worked for everything he's gotten. And um, I was thrilled that he got invited and that he went and he represented the, the, the organization well and and uh, and had a good showing, finishing second. And um, and I love watching Juan play. I mean, he's such a, a great passer. He's got such good feel. He brings great energy. I thought he did a really good job tonight.